Hello YouTube. Okay, so what I'm going to be showing you in this video is farming for Cinder Bloom. Now, while doing this for this particular path that I'm going to be using, you can not only get Cinder Bloom, but you can also get quite a bit of a uh, Shar's Veil and a crap ton of a uh, volatile life. So, it's uh, as you probably should know and already know, already do know, Druid herb farming is the best because you can herb faster and well as torn if you're horde you can herb faster and if you're druid you can just dip down pick your herb and then move on so start this i'm going to be doing a stopwatch so that you guys can see how much cinder bloom i can get in one loop around so we'll start that and as you can see from this herb how i'm going at it I'm very slightly i'm because that one particular herb can phase and it doesn't matter what phasing you're in. I'm pers I personally haven't done any of the questing here. Um, it's just that if you haven't done any of the questing or if you're in the phase that I'm in, then you won't have to worry about dealing with the ads and whatnot that can be up in this area. So you just kind of fly around here. I am using, I do have a 280 flying on this character, as you can see from right there. And yeah. It's a fairly basic flight through on how I did this, well, how I do do this, and might even be doing this flight path during MOP, depending on how prices vary for on Cinderbloom and Whiptail. I'll be doing another video on Whiptail, which you can check out if you want to, although that flight path is very, fairly simple as well, but just fly start here go up and around through here come back through here oh we missed something oh yeah i forgot to mention that all right so if you go if you're in a level 24 well 23 guild you have bountiful bags so you can proc for extra cinder bloom which it can be really really helpful because that's extra herbs that you can sell in the auction house use for uh, leveling up your profession or whatever you plan on doing with the these herbs that you get uh what i did do personally for this i did farm i think it was 10,000 gold what, 10,000 cinder bloom or something around there and sold it all for a very large lump sum of cash when prices were higher up on cinder bloom and it all sold within about a day or two and this is where we start getting into the area where we deal with more mobs um, and it's really you know, a lot easier as a druid because as I said you can just dip down pick your herb fly up But yeah, then after you come to this point, you just go up here. Uh, the add-on that you see on my mini-map and on the map here is called NPC Scan Overlay. And that just shows where all the rare elites are. I do kind of use that for following this path area over in here, seeing as it is fairly basic and well, simple. And Makes it less likely that you'll get lost with the flight path that you're going that you should be using for this. Uh, you can shorten it by just taking out this part area here. Although, personally, what I found it's by the time you've done gone through this area as well, all of the er most of the herbs I should say have already respawned. And what I'm doing right here is going simply over the mountain seeing as there's no point in going back through here this is time that can you can save by going back through flying over through here picking up checking one of the points for a shards veil that it does spawn on and yeah that's basically it a very simple farming spot and from one loop around we got well about four minutes for our loop around with 280 flying we got 42 cinder bloom 24 volatile life and 10 ashar's veil 
And yeah, that's basically it. I hope this, can help, this helps you out, and good luck.